there is no problem. I have sent you several text messages and called you, but you have refused to answer my calls. Photo me that. Where are my wedding pictures? It's like you want to see crazy Abby. Do you know who I am? I am a major general in the Nigerian army. If I bombard your office with my voice, you will not be able to tell the story. And why are you quiet? Why are you not saying anything? It's like we will repeat that word, you know. What's up, guys? It's Victor here again. Have you ever been in that situation or position where you lost an entire database or collection of your client's work and that client paid you for that job? If you're a photographer or a graphic designer, then you should be able to relate easily with what I'm about to say. This video is sponsored by Wondershare. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to recover lost, deleted, or corrupted files from a hard drive, a memory card, a USB drive, and almost anything that can essentially hold data. I have a memory card drive here rejected, abandoned, corrupted. I got it from a friend of mine who is a photographer and a very large shout out to Namu for lending us one of his useless drives and hopefully in this video we can make it useful for him. So this memory card crashed on him and he lost an entire collection of a client's job which as you can imagine is crazy. So in this video we are going to try to recover all the files, most of the files if not all of the files off this memory card drive using Recovery, and hopefully it works. Recovery is a data recovery program for Windows and Mac computers, as well as external devices including SD cards, SSD, digital camera, drone camera, CF card, and USB drives. The main file types can be photos, videos, audios, documents, archives, emails, and many more. It can also repair corrupted video files via its inbuilt video repairing tool. To download Recovery, go to Wondershare Recovery website or follow the link which I will leave in the description box below. Once you are inside the website, you'll find two buttons at the top right corner of the header section to try it for free or buy now. Recovery costs 80 US dollars for the basic or essential plan for one year. The essential plan allows you to recover unlimited files using one computer. You can also subscribe for just one month for 76 US dollars, which honestly doesn't make sense to me. The annual plan is a better deal and that way you have the software as insurance waiting for contingencies. You can try the software for free by clicking the try it free button. The free version gives you access to recover up to 100 megabytes of lost data and I think that is incredible. After clicking any of the buttons, the installer will be downloaded to your computer. Go to your file explorer on Windows or Finder if you are on a Mac machine to find the downloaded installer. Double click to run the installer to download the software itself. Once it's finished, locate the app and open it. I am logged in and as you can see, these are all the drives in my computer or drives connected to my computer. This is the memory card that I will be recovering files off from. In recovery, it, simply select the drive you want to recover files from. In this case, it's our memory card drive. Then click the start button at the bottom right of the window to start the recovery process. So the drive is now being read and scanned for recoverable files and you can see the progress bar at the top showing the progress of the recovery process. Something to note though is that the software can only recover data from sectors that have not been overwritten with new files. What this means is that if you mistakenly deleted your files, you can recover those files using recovery provided that you've not copied new files into the drive to replace or override drive sectors. When you erase a file, it isn't really removed from your hard drive. It remains on your hard drive long after you empty the recycle bin. This helps you to restore files that you've accidentally erased. If you're not cautious, other people will be able to restore your private files even if you thought you had erased them. A file recovery software like recovery can search for and restore deleted files on the hard drive. Alright, our scanning is done and it took about 15 minutes to read about 1,700 files and I expect the scanned files to be large in size because the drive is owned by a photographer. As you can see, here are the scanned and recoverable files. You can sort them by file types by clicking on this tab here and it will arrange all the recoverable files according to their file types. The organization is impeccable. You can also fit out specific results using the funnel icon at the top right of the window. You can select the files or folders you want to recover. In this case, I want to recover everything. So I will select these two root folders and click the recover button. 
select the location where you want the recovered files to be stored click save and recover it will start saving the files onto your computer the recovery is done and these are the files that were retrieved using the software I can imagine the trouble my friend went through when he lost these files. I can imagine the trouble the client gave him. We don't think of the worst case situations too much because honestly they are not easy to consider and we easily tend to plod along. Hoping all will be fine and panicking when things go wrong. And this is something I am also guilty of and I'm trying so hard to break off it. Having recovery software like Wondershare Recover It on hand is akin to having insurance in certain ways. You hope you never need it and I also wish you don't need it. But it's just so nice to have some on hand. You can try the free version if you are not yet ready to purchase the full version. And the free version gives you access to recover up to 100 megabytes of plus data, which I think is fantastic. You can get a lifetime subscription for both Windows and Mac computers by clicking the link in the description below. So guys, there you have it. That is how I recovered lost and deleted corrupted files from this hard drive from my friend Namo. Thanks to recover it. Like this video if it was helpful, share it. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any question, I'll be delighted to answer. Subscribe if you're not and also ring the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video like this one. Thank you guys for watching this one and I'll see you when I see you in the next one. Peace.